Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my worm farming channel. And today what we're going to be talking about is the science of worm farming. I have been doing a few experiments to prove out some topics that are frequent questions that I see in the comments of my worm channel. How long does it take or how much does it take to get 10 pounds of worm casting? And also, is grit really necessary in a worm bin? And how much if there is? Okay, so we're gonna start off first with the bin that I have never fed grit to. It started out as 100 cocoons in October of 2022, and they have never had any grit at all. They are living in a 10 gallon tote here, and they are being uh, fed and with the same sort of uh, kitchen scraps and paper and cardboard bedding that everybody else gets. So even though I don't have a side-by-side -side bin, they are being fed and they do have the same bedding as everybody else with the exception of grit. So let's take a look. It's been about three and a half weeks since we fed these guys. Seems as though my gnat population is not going down in this particular room. So we're probably gonna have to set up more gnat traps. If you're interested in that, in the last video that I had on the European night crawlers, I did show you a quick version of how I do my gnat traps. And I will link that at the end. All right, so let's see. It was very, very wet last time, so I left the lid off. Um, we've got some very good sized worms here. You can tell they're mature adults by looking at the clitellum right here on the worm. And generally, when they have been breeding or they've just released a cocoon, they look a little bit ratty, like, you know, they're a little bit worse the wear for having a cocoon. And, you know, anybody who's given birth can tell you you're a little bit worse for the wear. So looking in here to, we gave them some fast food to complement the slow food that they had been given. And I'm seeing here in the corner that the slow food, which is the avocado, is in fact still here. And uh, they are working on it. So that is good. But let's see if we can find any of that fast food that we gave them. I don't remember. I think it's probably on the other side from the slow food. But just looking through here, I'm not really sure how many worms are in here at this point. When we're all done, I'm gonna incorporate this dry stuff in with the wet stuff and then we'll evaluate if it needs more water. So I'm seeing a bit of an onion peel here. Ooh, look at that cocoon, dang, that is huge. Wow. Okay, so look at that, look how big that cocoon is. Some little worm put a lot of effort in, into it to uh, give us that cocoon. Why not give it a muddy thumbs up? Good work, worm. Okay, so we're still looking, not seeing anything except for the slow food with that avocado. So three and a half weeks, uh, the uh, slow food definitely is still there, but the fast food is totally gone. So if you're looking at kind of a, a gauge, like how often do I feed my worms and how long does it last? Even with the small population here, three weeks, on uh, a bunch of slow or a bunch of fast food is still consumed very quickly. We're starting to see a little bit of castings being made here, even though there's a low population of worms. You can see a pepper seed in there, so that must have been one of the last feedings. Well, being that they've fed uh, so completely, we're going to give them a little bit bigger of a feeding today. So what we have is going to be a lot of fast food. So we've got, well, okay, pineapple is not a fast food. In fact, it is one of the slowest foods. Uh, but we've got a lemon here. They are going to love that. Um, got some melon, got some rice, more onion, and it looks like an apple and part of an old dragon fruit, like so the outside of a dragon food. I'm not sure if I've fed that before. I don't remember if it was fast or slow. Put in the comments below if you've ever fed dragon fruit. Um, is it fast or slow? We might get some sprouts. We got sprouts last time and I kept them and so now I have three dragon fruit plant. Then we got an apple here, previously frozen, uh, but they are typically still very slow foods. All right, so that is a, a good size feeding for this small amount of worms. I'm gonna try and cover that with the, the bedding that was a little dry. Make sure that the avocados are still well, well covered because honestly, they probably don't smell very great if you were to give them a lot of air. All right, hang on. We're going to get the second experiment where I weigh everything, and uh, we'll see how that's going after about eight months. 
Okay, here we are at the weight bin and it is 28, let's see, 27.8 pounds or 12.75 kilograms. All right, so that is, we'll do the math. I'll show it to you on the screen as to what we have uh, lost in the way of moisture weight or, or gaseous weight. Uh, I left the lids off of these so they could dry a little bit in hopes of reducing the gnat population, but it does appear that uh, has not really helped. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit more aggressive on those little gnats. All right, so we gave them a good size feeding last time. So let's see what we've got left. So we have been working on completing this bin in about a year. That's the goal is to continue to add bedding and food for about a year and then see, you know, how many pounds or kilograms of food and bedding did we feed these guys? And what did we end up with in the amount of worm castings? And then we'll have to, you know, weigh the worms out as well because we started out with exactly a pound so we'll see you know what the results are in the amount of worms and then also castings so this was an uneaten avocado and they are still working on it it's been a couple of months well they'll get around to it sometime a lot of people call that forbidden food it doesn't mean they don't want to eat it it just means that the bin critters haven't made it available yet so you can tell they are making some very nice castings here. Good worms. Doesn't look like they're gonna grow me an avocado. You can see that little worm is all the way inside except for his little tail. So the population, these worms look really, really healthy. Hmm, we did give them a big, big feeding last time and there is a banana that has not been finished. I think there was three bananas. So that's one, I guess I didn't break them open. That's probably why. So we still have the bananas here. And in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so we fed three bananas on that side and then a bag of food on that side. So let's uh, move over and see if any of that food is left. I'm gonna put this dry stuff underneath. The temperature in the basement has warmed up quite a bit. It's 72 in the basement now. So hopefully they're gonna start eating a little bit faster. Let's see what we've got over here. I remember it being a bag of food, but I don't remember if it was a bag of what. So it looks like we've got more worms hanging out in the avocado shell. Kinda trying to hold still here for a second and see if there's any critters. see how they did with the rest of that feeding. <laughs> Look at that melon. You can hear that? Sounds like plastic. So bizarre. Weird. The decomposition process, I just never gave it a whole lot of thought before I had worms. Like what processes and, and I don't know steps things go through when they're being degraded. Never really gave it a lot of thought, but uh, these guys definitely give you a lot of things to think about. I'm seeing a lot of uh, pepper and I don't know what that is. I don't smell anything. There's an onion. So looks like, oh, the uh, lemongrass. There's actually a potworm on that lemongrass. Um, so okay, they have not eaten everything yet, but I don't think what they have left is probably enough to get them through to another three weeks. So I think we're probably just going to have to give them a small feeding and we'll do that in the middle so that we don't create anything that heats up or anything. So we'll put the, the old food on either side so they can keep hammering it and then we will get a little spot here in the middle for some new food. I 
still think the the bin's pretty dang full so I'm not gonna add any more bedding still you can see that the paper is and the cardboard is still very visible so I don't think it's gonna be a problem to wait and not give them any more bedding so let me get them some food I don't know if this is gonna be fast food or not but this is a a lemon that clearly is completely moldy and then here is the top of a pineapple that will be slow food so when they get finished with this and this then maybe if I break that lime open or lemon then they'll be able to get into it faster maybe a little bit more of the pineapple stuff and mango all right let's cover that up and then let's see what it weighs now that we've added that food haven't added any bedding no moisture so should be some pretty easy math there. Final weight is 24.5 pounds and 11.1 kilograms. So there you have it. If you want to go back and watch this experiment from the beginning, I will link the playlist over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.